What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is the behind the scenes of the room tour video. I just shot the intro. So I want y'all to see everything that's going to be going on. Every big video is going to have a behind the scenes. So this is something new that I decided to start filming. I stripped everything off the wall. I'm going to put something here. I'm just going to get straight into it though. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen the room tour first, but you want to see how everything was put together. The struggles behind everything. So we're just going to go ahead and get that going on this is a little entertainment set my dresser basket here and i stripped off all the posters on the wall and then i'm gonna add new things but first things first i have to take everything out i have to take everything out of the room and then i have to clean i'm just gonna vacuum just to make sure there's no dust dirt bugs whatever it is you know what i'm saying anything that's back there i haven't seen back there in two three years so we're gonna go ahead and clean that out and then i'm gonna show y'all what we're adding first get ready for it subscribe Go! Alright guys, so basically I got everything gone. Look at this ugly man right here. <laughs> so yeah, basically I took everything out. Got the dresser out, got the entertainment set out, and now we're going to build the first piece, actually. Before I build anything, we're going to put up the RGB LED lights. We're going to put those up on the wall here, and I'm going to cut some of the strips, put them on the bottom of the desk after it's being built. And then maybe behind the TV, just to add a couple color flip pop stuff going on you know what i'm saying just a whole bunch of stuff going on right there so i'm gonna just go ahead and get that situated um we're just gonna get the rgb led lights i have i think i purchased like 33 feet and this wall is about 16 feet so i still have like 15 16 feet left over maybe a little bit more and i could just cut it up and put it in different spots of the room oh sorry anyways uh so this is part of the behind the scenes man I'm telling y'all, this is very stressful. Look, all right, so I was about to start putting up my RGB LED lights, and then I did something stupid. So it said on the little strip that you can cut in between the connector pieces, and you can just, like, put the pieces wherever you want them to go. So my dumb ass going to cut it, and I turned off... I turned off one of the sections of the lights, so I have 30 feet cut into two rows, but... I just lost like 15 feet of lights because I cut it and it wasn't supposed to be cut, I don't think. I think I need to buy something to start reconnecting it, but I'll figure it out. I'm going to talk to somebody and see if I can get it fixed. But I connected a piece of it to my TV and then the other piece, I cut it and then I broke it. So let's see if I can get this fixed. So I'm going to just go ahead and skip the lights. And I'm gonna build the desk first. All right, y'all. So look at this. We got the gaming desk built, and that thing is massive. So I got the clothing rack right here. This rack is where I'm gonna put most of my clothes, primarily jackets, shirts, merch, all that good stuff. That's some secret stuff I'm gonna be putting on this bad boy right here. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the clothes that I'm gonna put at the end of the video. But yeah, I just gotta have everything set up for the most part. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put my dresser in the corner. I measured everything out and everything turned out to be perfect. If not a little better, I got maybe like one or two inches extra of space that I can fit that stuff in there. As well as the rest of the stuff that's gonna go on this desk. So I'm thinking to have like my gaming, my like TV here, mic, and then laptop here, and then have everything set up right there. I got a clock and I got like some other stuff that's gonna go over here, like a lamp. And all that good stuff. So it's going to be really dope. Stay tuned for the gaming chair. Stay tuned for the gaming chair. It is coming up right after this. So let's get it. All right, y'all. So look, man, I got everything set up and laid out for the gaming chair. I just had dinner. Had to give me some oxtails because, you know, I had to eat, man. I got to get me some energy. It keeps my head running. You know what I'm saying? Keep me, keep me good. Keep this energy flow up. So it is late right now, but that doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get everything done tonight because I want to upload these videos in the next two days. I'm going to promote, make a trailer, do all this good stuff. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so first starters, they gave me some gloves. Come with this gaming chair, man. But yeah, so, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what we got. So right here, 
we have 17 screws five screw here this is like i forgot what these are these are the like m5 screws these are the screw covers this is the m8 screw i got 17 of those my racer wheels got a spa spanner i think that's how you say it. it's a spanner and then i got the gas cover or a gas rod so it's gonna go under the seat it's gonna go this right here it's my box cutter so don't worry about that then over here we have the base of the chair this john is fire look at that that's gonna be the whole chair man this thing's huge and then i got the base over there chases i think that's how you say it and i got the left and right armrest and then i got some things over there i believe those are like the decorative covers and uh i can't remember what that's called it's like the decorative bases some all that stuff is over there but yeah so this is all that good stuff this room is going to be fire so make sure let me see if i can get it to focus it's not focusing on my face there we go so yeah y'all stay tuned for this let's see how long it takes me i think it's around like 11 11 something finally i'm back and i don't even know what time it is that took longer than expected it is 108 since the last time i told y'all i was gonna install everything so now i got the gaming chair set up look at this bad boy this thing is a beast fergal gaming chair red white and black you know this is look at this look at this Whew. has a built-in headrest you know instead of having the actual headrest on it it's built into the chair look at that that thing is beautiful way better than what it looked like online well i have more things i have some things on the desk i know y'all see this thing look kind of messy right here like all over the place but this is what i got say hey to misha y'all yeah say hey to misha i got my ps4 set up and actually on the desk i didn't even say that this is a headphone stand so i can hang my headphones across it and then right here i have a cup holder for any drinks that I can have right there and under here I have these things pinned to the top this is all my wires as far as the ps4 the TV and uh, I think it's like the HDMI cord I just pinned it back so there's no loose wiring ps4 is here TVs right there it's actually the perfect height for this this actually chair this chair can recline lean back all the way 180 degrees so if I want to take a nice nap during in between games or whatever I'm waiting on somebody you can do that this is also good for editing because i have enough space to fit my laptop on side of the tv so i might slide this down to the left a little bit more might not i don't know i'll figure that out but right here i have a led table lamp and then i have this led shot clock you know desk clock you know i'm gonna show you what it is so let me see if i can take this baby out right here so right here, this is what this looks like. I don't know if I need batteries. Actually, I think this one is a rechargeable one because I bought this like a month ago, so I forgot. But yeah, so this one is a 16 million colors. Wow, look at that. <laughs> they probably capping, but let's see. I don't know if I can turn it on. Let's see. Oh, okay, whoa. And then, yeah, this thing is bright. Okay, let me see if I can focus that. Yeah, my camera is just like going crazy right now. Okay, yeah, I can't focus. That thing is brighter than I thought it was. Okay, let's see. RGB. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's dope. I think it is touch screen. So when you touch it, let me see. That's white. So it goes white like that. I don't know if y'all can see me. Come on, focus, focus, focus. So, yeah, when you touch the RGB, it turns all sorts of colors. So, yeah, look at that. That's dope. I think that's all it is. Oh, it comes with a charger cord. So it's rechargeable. So I don't need that anymore. So yeah, I got the nice little table lamp. And this is like the slow version of it. So when I'm playing at nighttime, I can have a nice little color effect going on. <clears throat> this is going to be nice. I really am excited for everything that's coming. Let's see what's up with the shot clock. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. This shot clock was bigger than I expected gonna tell me what time it is and i gotta set it i gotta plug it in and i gotta set it up so yeah it was bigger than i expected i thought it was gonna be like a little clock like that yes yeah, sir ski you already know how it is so i got the lights set up i got the clock set up and now we're moving on to the next four packages on my room tour video let's go i got some cherry red laundry bags because the theme of the room as you can see red black and white it's a little bit of red right there a little bit of red right here and then we're gonna put a whole lot of red hot on this bed but yeah so y'all gonna wait for that i'm gonna clean off this so don't even worry about it 
But yeah, so for the most part, we got this laundry bag. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in my laundry basket and put that in the corner over there by the ring light. And then I'm going to open up these next three packages. It's going to be lit. Let's get it. All right, guys. So I'm back and it's been a little rough. So the basketball goal wouldn't stick to the wall. Then on top of that, I had my tapestry that's supposed to go on the wall. I'm going to show y'all what that looks like in a little bit. But that didn't come in on the expected date. So I had to push this video back just a little bit, maybe a couple days. It was like two, three days. So today's the third day. Tapestry came in. I put a lot of stuff up before I even showed you guys on camera. So it's going to be a lot of stuff that I have to cover. So as y'all seen before, I put up my little lamp here. I have a mic set up. This is a Samson mic right here. And then I have this right here. This is an RGB LED touchscreen lamp. It has a little swivel on it, like a little dial right here on the top. So when you turn it, it just changes colors. Or you can just click RGB and it does it for you. So it just changes colors by itself, which is really dope. I really like it. And I know y'all hear that noise in the back. Yeah, that noise right there. We got a nice mini fridge for the room because when i'm gaming recording editing i get thirsty man so i had to get a mini fridge let's see i don't even remember if we got no drinks in here yeah we got a couple drinks in there and i'm saying we got some water juice my brother got some peach peach cups in there i think that's what that is and then we got some water right here i had some gatorade in there but you know your boy your boy was thirsty so yeah and i put the trash can on the top right there. it's just a little mini trash can for little things in the room so then I went ahead and set up my clothing rack. So right here, I have a nice little clothing rack. Let me see if I can see it right there. So I think this setup is really dope. It makes me feel like everything is just right in one place. It's organized, it's nice and neat and stuff. So I have my setup here and then I have my clothing rack right here. So if I need to go out, I just pick my outfit right here. I got the shoes at the bottom, clothes right here, a little bit of pants right there and I got the rest of my jeans in the closet. So also I put, hold on. A future video right here future video fashion over i got my laundry basket right here the bag is inside it's a super huge bag but i went ahead and did laundry the other day because i was waiting on my tapestry so i set up all that stuff over here i set up ring light in the corner of course and i got my my stuff right here which is where i put like my wallet my deodorant my you know like chain all that other stuff glasses any accessories accessory items as far as my clothes my dresser all that stuff goes in that corner like I said before, and then, you know, we're just gonna keep it going like that. I showed y'all the chair before, but I want y'all to see it again. So go ahead and take a look at that bad boy right here. It's a Fergal gaming slash office chair. It's like a racing chair. It has a built-in headrest and it's extremely comfortable. The past couple of days, I've just been chilling, breaking it in, you know, just like getting the feel for it, you know, how I like it. And honestly, I love it. I probably would recommend getting this chair. Most people get that GT racing chair, but if you have a tight budget, which I would recommend not spending a grip on something that you know is not going to last if you don't take care of it. If you don't want to drop a whole lot on a chair, you know, this is a nice chair. You get a lot for what you're paying for. You know, it's a great, great comfort. I would highly recommend the Fergo Office slash gaming chair. And it has it stitched in on the back. Look at that. It's not cheap. I would highly recommend that. But yeah, over here is the setup everything's there and i'm gonna go ahead and put up a next piece and i'm gonna show y'all that in a little bit so stay tuned and i'm back and i'm better and it has been the most rough two days of my entire life last time we talked i told you i was gonna put up this piece on the wall it turned out to be a few pieces on the wall so first things first i'm gonna go from this angle on the door i applied my mirror Got my stand-up mirror. You guys can see me right here. Say what's am. But look, I got the mirror right here. Got a nice little basketball goals. Uh, basketball goal with two basketballs. Then on top of adding that, I went ahead on this side of the wall where I'm at, and I added a subscribe. Little. It was a pillowcase, but it's like I don't know. It's like a really thin pillowcase material, so I just have put it on the wall. Then I added my Google AdSense form. I framed it because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Keep it a buck. 
This means the world to me because my biggest goal since I picked up a phone, started uploading on YouTube, was to get monetized. I told y'all I was gonna get monetized and guess what, I did it. Put up the Supreme bag right here. Nice little 3D fiction. What the hell am I talking about? I'm gonna just go ahead and get to the next one. This is what I know y'all wanna see. What's behind me is the Playboy Cardi Die Lit album tapestry let me move the light so y'all can see it because this thing is beautiful it is beautiful 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 look at that one of my favorite albums i'm not even gonna lie to you like i know every song on that album i had to get it i, I just had to i had no choice but to cop the playboy cardi dialect tapestry and i feel like this is the most essential piece to the room other than the desk, the chair, the clothing rack, the mirror, the mini fridge, the Playboy Cardi tapestry means the most. No cap. On top of everything, I got one more piece to the puzzle. Turn this off. Give me a second, y'all. So, I got RGB LED room lights to go all the way around. Let's turn that John red. So we got under the desk, on the ceiling, on both sides of the room, except for this part. I had to take this part off because this is where we sleep. So, you know, I'm just saying I just kind of blocked that part off. But red looks dope. Look at the setup too. Look at that, look at that, look at that. That is amazing. And then we're gonna drop a little blue on that. Look at that. Got a nice little blue filter on it. If I want to go green, if I'm feeling like slimy, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just brighten that joint up a little bit. Kind of feeling slimy today, so I'm going to go ahead and go green. So whatever mood you in, this fits it all. And if I feel like going like a little mixture of it all, and it changes colors. Look at that. Whole setup. RGB. That's what it means to have the ultimate setup. Have the lights, have the tapestry, have the chair, have everything here. The full video will have it all displayed and explained why I got it. But most importantly, this is the behind the scenes. It took me one hour to do this by myself. I started from right here, plugged it up to the wall. Look at that, behind the fridge, I taped it up to the wall. Kinda, kinda rigged it up, a little ghetto, but it's okay. And then right there, Lined it up all the way across. And look at that. It stopped right there. Then I went all the way back to this side. Take the second one. This all took me one hour to do. Not the whole setup, but just the lights. The lights itself. It looks really easy, but no, it's not. Trust me. Highly recommend y'all getting some lights for your room. Because it adds a whole new feel. If I want to go white, it brightens it up nice and neat. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. You can see me clear, but it brightens it up very, very well because I can get right in front of the lights and do the same thing. You see, I can vlog from this angle. Look at the room. If you enjoyed this video of me putting everything together, talking to y'all and telling y'all how everything went, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe down below and join the Meso Crew. Merch line is coming soon. So without further ado, it's your boy Meso Caleb and I'll see you in the next one.